One thing about MSI BIOS is, I really like their BIOS, but one thing that is a little annoying is they really like to boot to removable storage. Um, so if you have a, a bootable external hard drive hooked up, unless you make the necessary changes, it's going to boot to that over the internal hard drive. And just for an example here, I use an external USB SSD to load Windows on this computer, and it loaded, did the first stage, rebooted, and then it's right back here again. And if I didn't know better, I'd probably start the installation again, only to wind up right back at this place again. So um, if you're having trouble with that, and you're always having to disconnect your external hard drives to prevent this from happening, um, there is a fix for it, and it's not immediately uh, obvious in the BIOS, so we'll talk about that here in a second. I just want to show you, I got out of that and said, no, I don't, I don't want to, you know, do the Windows installation, and you notice it's going to boot right back up to the external storage, even though I have an internal SSD with an operating system on it. So let's see if we can fix that. Now, uh, so I'm going to get out of here and it's going to, you know, reboot the computer again. And then I'm going to start nailing the delete key. So I can go into the BIOS. And you want to go to the advanced part of the BIOS. So lots of times it'll start off in this simple mode and you hit F7. It's up there at the top, F7 to go to advanced. Go to settings. Now this may vary. This is a one particular motherboard. It may not look exactly like this in your, on your motherboard. This is a very modern MSI board. So go down to boot and right here, in the, this is the boot order and you can see right here it says UEFI hard disk is the first choice in the list. But it's my external one. And the only way to get the uh, internal one in the list here would be to unplug my external one. But what you might not notice is this right here, UEFI hard disk BBS properties. I don't know what BBS stands for, boot something something. Anyway, right here you can change the boot order of hard drives because I have an external hard drive and an internal hard drive and again you would think they would default to the internal device instead of the external but they don't so you hit this and I can go down to my internal hard drive choose it and then uh, get on out and I have to save and exit first I'm going to update my profile I just save, I save the uh, settings in a profile, so if the BIOS ever gets reset, I can always quickly go back there and, you know, fix it. So anyway, save and exit, and it tells you what you changed, boot option one and two. And now, instead of booting to my external SSD, it's going to boot to the internal hard drive. And so, there we go. Now it's booting. It's going on to the next stage in the Windows installation uh, because of that change that I made. I'll wait and let you see that it really is not booting to the external SSD. And as you can see, it would have been at that screen by now. So hopefully that helps you uh, if you're having this particular problem.